Thank you, Lisa. Uh, as Lisa mentioned, I went through the TLA program at the University of Colorado in spring of 2016 and was selected for a shared seven-month internship between Brian, Cl Brian Cave and a client of its emerging companies practice, Fathom. Through this internship, I was tasked with applying the skills I learned in the boot camp to identify and meet Fathom's needs in a cost-effective way and use that experience to help Brian Cave develop innovative solutions to scale to other emerging companies' clients. At the time, I was the only intern who was placed in an internship structured like this, uh, and I was the first boot camp graduate that Brian Cave hired, so we didn't really have a roadmap for it. I spent three and a half months working closely with Fathom, uh, collaborating with its chief operating officer and Brian Cave attorneys to address Fathom's legal needs. As a fast-growing venture-backed software company, they wanted to prepare for the inevitable due diligence process that they would go through as a part of a financing or exit transaction, and they wanted to avoid the costs and risks of responding reactively to that. I identified solutions that were already available at Brian Cave that could be repurposed to meet these needs reviewed the entirety of the company diligence materials and addressed all of their concerns. As a result, their investment banker described Fathom as, quote, the most diligence ready company he had ever seen. I then transitioned to working full time at the firm, working closely with our client technology group to research and assess processes and technologies that could benefit Fathom and our other emerging company clients. Ultimately, and as a, result, a direct result of the training that I went through with uh, the TLA program, we identified several areas where we could utilize legal technology to benefit these clients, including document automation, data room and corporate file organization, a cap table management, and client firm collaboration. We began repurposing legal tech already being used by the firm to these new applications. This smaller project has since grown into an integrated emerging companies portal, utilizing a combination of legal technology such as HotDocs, Neotologic, and HiQ, solving all of the identified areas of need for emerging companies. This portal is currently in its pilot phase and is expected to launch soon. Uh, so moving beyond what we did with the internship, what I really want to talk about is how everyone involved really benefited from this shared internship structure. Uh, this structure had several benefits for the client, the firm, and myself. The client obviously uh, received low-cost legal services, but also received personal one-on-one -on -one attention on-site working through operational challenges and solving problems in a way that was totally unique from the, the current legal service delivery model. Uh, the firm, on the other hand, in addition to the solutions we have developed for the emerging companies practice, has benefited in several ways. First, this internship program has strengthened Brian Cave's relationships with the clients who have participated in the program. We get to do a deep dive into our clients' operations that we really wouldn't otherwise get. We don't get that with other clients. This deep dive puts us in a better position as legal advisors, having a well-rounded view of their entire company and its operations. And further, we're showing these clients that we are focused on delivering legal solutions as opposed to just legal advice and that we prioritize innovation. Beyond just strengthening client relationships, this arrangement has also set Brian Cave apart as a leader in innovation and helped foster an innovative culture within the firm. I became an advocate for innovation among the attorneys that I work with, telling them about technology they didn't know was available or didn't realize was useful in their practice areas. I've arranged technology training sessions for my office and identified how firm tech could solve pain points that my colleagues are experiencing. Just last week, an attorney was telling me about the challenges that he's been experiencing gathering data from several attorneys within the firm so that he could put a white paper together. I realized that part of the technology we are using in the emerging companies portal could be applied to help solve his challenge, gathering data through online questionnaires and automatically aggregating it into a spreadsheet. By investing in an intern or an associate with this business-minded legal training, the firm enabled this kind of inter interaction to happen, which can help shift the culture towards innovation firm-wide and promote adoption of new technology. Further, as a result of the firm's focus on delivering legal solutions, as opposed to just legal advice, we've been able to develop practice areas and grow our work in the emerging company space, deploying similar solutions for other clients. We branded ourselves as a leader in innovation and efficiency, and we're always looking for creative ways to provide value to our clients. And that's what clients are increasingly looking for in their law firms. Additionally, what several attorneys I work with have emphasized is that this internship structure has opened up an excellent alternative path to hiring associates. They were given an intern who was ready to jump in with the client on day one with very little training on their part. 
Brian Cave didn't have to spend time training me on the basics of business operations, uh, client interaction, utilizing technology, or reading company financials, for example. Although the firm has developed the Brian Cave Business Academy to help fill this gap in training, it still takes firm time and resources to provide that, and it typically doesn't happen until later in an associate's career. Instead of wasting weeks of my internship time on this training, or as probably happens in many firms, never going through this training, uh, I was able to jump into substantive work with the client quickly with a minimal ramp up period and add value early on in my seven month internship. Finally, the boot camp provides its interns with broader skills than law students have had in the past. And the shared internship structure gave the firm the ability to apply those skills and test them in a collaborative and experimental way with a client and explore new opportunities for the firm. So beyond both the client and the firm benefits, I personally benefit benefited from this internship quite a bit, obviously. Um, I gained a really unique set of business skills that has made me a better lawyer and associate. I can better serve my corporate clients by understanding how their businesses work, including operations, financials, and relationships, and how that needs to play a role in my legal practice. Uh, the boot camp training and developing those skills with the client and the firm also helped me fill a skills gap within the firm. Many attorneys have not received this sort of training. And for example, while I was still an intern, I unintentionally became known for my ability to work with Excel and cap tables, which apparently is just baffling to everybody else. <laughs> um, and I still get requests from across the firm from people asking for support in that area. I was able to prepare and submit an ROI analysis for technology I thought could benefit our clients. I've identified issues in M&A due diligence that other attorneys didn't, that they had missed. Um, and in one of the best compliments I've received to date, a senior attorney on a deal told me, you're not like other first years, you're actually helpful. <laughs> That's the difference that this internship has made. On top of all this, the face-to-face -face client work provided me with experience in building and developing client relationships so that I began my career understanding the bigger picture rather than the typical first year who focuses on the work and doesn't necessarily understand the relationships and uh, building those relationships and managing them. So this training has really been the foundation for my practice as an attorney. It's already second nature for me to incorporate business concerns into my legal advice and contract negotiation. And now it's a habit to think about what tools the firm can use to approach its work more efficiently and ideate on what technology I can use to help my team and my clients. In a landscape where clients are increasingly demanding efficiency and innovation from law firms, these skills are what set bootcamp interns apart, and a shared internship structure can set your firm apart with your clients. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Stephanie, for sharing your path from TLA intern to associate, and also for coming from Boulder to visit us tonight. Um, so now we're going to turn, you might notice that the age of the people coming to stage has been progressively getting lower and lower. And so now we're going to turn to some really exciting folks. And these are people who are interns uh, this past summer. They went through the boot camp, uh, the iFlip boot camp in May, and they spent 10 weeks this summer in internships. Aaron Welsh and Kyle Adams are from Indiana Law, and uh, they're going to speak to you about their experiences. Aaron spent time at Cypher Shaw this summer, and Kyle was part of our managed internship program, which is a unique opportunity for uh, legal departments to partner with service providers, especially when they don't have the capacity or bandwidth to manage an intern. So Kyle was uh, placed with Univar, a chemical company in the suburbs here, but he was working directly for Elevate Next, which managed his projects and co collaborated and coordinated with Univar. And so Aaron and Kyle, come on up and let's hear about your experiences this summer. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, like Lisa said, my name is Erin Welsh, and I'm from Indiana University Maurer School of Law. And my, I am in my second year. And the summer I spent with Cypher Shaw with their Lean Solutions team, where I worked directly with legal project managers. The legal project managers at Cypher Shaw 
worked uh, directly with clients and attorneys in order to ensure that the Seifreth attorneys were providing high quality service to their clients. What, what my, most of my experience included was sitting directly with attorneys and clients and the legal project manager and listening to an issue that an, a client was having and then trying to collaborate um, with those legal project managers to develop a solution. What I've quickly learned was that not all, there's not a one size fits all solution to every problem. Uh, so it, sometimes those solutions in, included financial reporting, um, data analytics, use of technology, um, resource shifting, and, um, and other, excuse me, I'm sorry, um, and um, other teamwork aspects, finding if there was issues with communication. They used the methods of Lean Six Sigma in order to help them do this. So I had a lot of experience um, discussing uh, voice of client um, interviews, or I um, helped facilitate a lot of process mapping sessions. Um, in fact, I was fortunate enough to accompany my manager um, on a trip to Newark where we went on site to do a process mapping session with one of our clients, which was extremely rewarding. Um, a lot of the other stuff I did included um, process map building, which we would then give to the client in order to um, prov help provide a solution, and um, working with technology to update um, client uh, profile sites on Cypherth Link's website. Uh, I also helped develop a wiki page uh, for one of our clients as well. Overall, it was an extremely rewarding experience, um, not just because the team was so friendly and I became part of a team so quickly, but because I developed so much, uh, such a better understanding of the business uh, behind law firms and um, the importance of building and maintaining client relationships and the essential skills that are required for building those relationships. Um, further through the iFlip bootcamp and that were strengthened through um, my internship at Cypher Shaw, I I strengthen these skills such as technology, um, resource and time management, um, uh, organization, communication, um, which is going to be, I believe, to be extremely beneficial in my future legal practice. And I also don't mean to brag, but I did get best intern, uh, <laughs> which I'll, I'm going to wear with honor even though I was the only intern in the department. So. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it was a really great experience. I was very fortunate to be a part of this program, um, and I find that I learned a lot of skills that were extremely beneficial to me. Thank you. All right. Hi, everybody. I'm Kyle Adams, and I'm a 2L in Indiana. And I did my internship this past summer at Univar and in conjunction with Elevate Next. And that was like a joint internship. We did use the um, Elevate managed internship to kind of get the extra structure in there. So if anybody's looking to kind of get around maybe red tape problems that you have trying to get through your HR, that's definitely something that I know worked for getting my internship on the road. So it could definitely work with you. Like, talk about it if you're interested. And uh, over the course of the summer, I've been able to go into a lot of meetings and work on interesting projects that I want to tell you all about. So some of the meetings that I really enjoyed that I don't think a lot of people get to sit in on was I went to a case strategy meeting, not just for one case, but how we're going to actually attack the group of cases. They're all related, and the stance we want the company to make as a whole. So this sort of discussion is something that I don't think a lot of people are even able to see at my spot. So I was really excited to do that. I was able to sit on uh, project strategy meetings as well as, and you guys might not be uh, as uh, entertained by this at first, but uh, a meeting with an auditor. And something like that normally isn't the thing that gets people out of their seats. But to me, I was so excited, actually probably the most excited person in the room, because I'm able to see, <laughs> I'm able to see exactly what it goes on in the firm, in their actual day-to-day -day life. So to me, that was eye-opening. That's exactly what I wanted to see, and that's one of the things I loved. But it's not about what I got out of the experience. It's about what I can give back to the employer. And one of the things that I thought was great for my feedback at the end when I asked for it was um, that I had uh, given value to the company. And that's ultimately what we're looking to do with the iFlip intern. It's about what we can give to you guys. But on top of that, another comment I got that really probably stood out to me as my most positive work comment I've ever gotten was 
You know, at first, I wasn't sure if I wanted an intern, but afterwards, I am so glad we got one. And that's exactly what we're looking to do. And I think it's from projects, like where I was given the opportunity to go in and try to help their advertising and marketing team. And basically what happens is their advertising and marketing would always have to go straight to the legal department with everything, big or small, and they start at square one. You can imagine how much time that takes, how much time people don't have. And essentially what I did is I went through and I created a one-page checklist. So somebody who's doing the advertising and marketing, they'll come to us, they'll do these things first. And it kind of teaches you along the way. So as you're doing it time and time again, you're becoming more knowledgeable. So you're increasing your value of your advertising and marketing employees. Then when it comes to legal, they already have a checklist. So they already know the important things that they have to touch on. And then lastly, if it's not got any of those big issues, that's it. You're done. You might even be able to skip over the legal department. How great is that? And <laughs> so it's opportunities like that where I'm able to deliver the value um, that I think are most important. So, and I think that's what every iFlip intern is looking to do. So it wouldn't happen, it wouldn't have this opportunity if it wasn't for iFlip and employers like you giving us a chance. So on behalf of me and all the other iFlip interns, please give us a chance to take you from the, I'm not sure if I want an intern to, I'm so glad I did.